Now, forewarn weather with exclusive cutting-edge technology to help keep you and your family safe. You know, I don't know about you guys, but it feels like winter's about to be thrown in our face right now before I, we even want to expect it. I know, it's like it's just been too good to be true, right? Yeah. You know, the trees going up at campus marshes, the yeah. holiday market, and then we have such a nice and sunny day like today. I, I know. I, I mean, I am all about Christmas and putting up the decor. I just haven't been able to, like, really <laughs> full-fledged get in the spirit because of the weather. Because you know. it's just been so, you know, sunny and warm. And um, so, you know, we, we'll take the warmth. I'm certainly not complaining about that because it is nice to have this kind of prolonged fall, um, but temperatures are starting to slide to more seasonal levels. So really right now, these temperatures you see here about two degrees above where we should be for afternoon high. So we're still going to stay above average, even though we have a cooler air mass that is built in, but not the record warmth of what we had earlier this week. So Metro Airport at 56, where we have plenty of sunshine. We've really pushed that cloud cover out from early this morning. 54 in Ann Arbor, Lapeer and same in Monroe. So as we look at the region, it is drastically cooler up to our northwest. Minneapolis and Sioux Falls at 44, but then you look off to the east. I mean, D.C. is at 77 right now, 75 in New York City. So a big temperature gradient here across the board, just given where that cold front passed through from west to east. High pressure over by Omaha that will continue to dominate our weather pattern as we head through the end of this work week and even in the first part of the weekend. Today's afternoon high probably topping out around 58 degrees. Clear skies, and we'll even take the clear skies into tonight. Now you will probably hear me say this multiple times, but when you have cloud cover overnight, it serves as a blanket and keeps you a little bit warmer at the surface. So given that we have more clearing tonight, it's going to be a little cooler tonight than last night. 40 for the overnight low, and then we'll have a very light wind that begins to pick up tomorrow. So we do rebound by about 20 degrees for the afternoon high tomorrow, right around 60, and we still hold on to the sunshine, but winds will pick up. Gusts could be close to 20 miles per hour, so it might not feel like we're a smidge warmer just because of that breeze. Tracking the tropics, and so not a whole lot has changed with Hurricane Raphael since this morning. It's still a cat two. The wind speeds have only gone down by about five miles per hour, so 100 mile per hour wind speeds. Movement is slowing just a little bit to the west northwest, and that's going to be great news for our friends down along the Gulf Coast because the track now pushes this west, not looking like it's going to make U.S. landfall. In fact, it starts to hook a little bit farther southwest as a tropical storm might even dodge Mexico as it could just kind of fizzle out in the Gulf early next week. Now, of course, these outer bands will bring cloud cover, maybe some rain and wind to the Gulf states, but the eye of the storm will not be an issue. Tropics, climatology, as we look at the hurricane season, we are just now on the bare end of the season. So with temperatures that are still warm in the Gulf, you could still see a few more, but it's just not going to be nearly as active as what you see in September. Weekend forecast, either side of 60. Saturday's the pick day to get outside and rake the leaves or maybe put up the Christmas lights, even though it's cooler than some Sunday. Good chance that we're going to see rain Sunday because of, because of a low pressure system that rolls through the Midwest. So starting the clock Saturday morning, this is coming out of Kansas City pushes towards the Chicago area, but then by the time we get to Sunday at 2 a.m., the initial line of that rain moves in, and then we'll have off and on rain chances as we head throughout Sunday. We will start to dry out on Veterans Day Monday. Early next week, we're in the 50s. After Sunday, next chance for rain will be on Wednesday. Damon? All right, Ashley.